The type of cutting action that prevails in a rolling cutter bit is determined by bit geometry, cutting elements, and bearing types. The geometric design features that determine cutting action are the journal angle and the offset. The journal angle, by definition, is the angle formed by the intersection of a line perpendicular to the axis, or center line of the journal, and the center line of the bit. In general, soft formation bits have smaller journal angles than hard formation bits. Offset is the horizontal distance between the center line of the bit and a vertical plane through the center line of the journal. This offset is measured as a displacement in the positive direction of rotation. In general, the greater the offset distance on a bit, the higher its degree of gouging, scraping, cutting action. Thus, soft formation bits tend to have a greater offset, while in hard formation bits, the offset is relatively small. Hole size is another prime consideration in bit design. Because hole sizes are limited, there are only so many features that can be included on a bit. It often becomes necessary to enhance one feature at the expense of another, especially for smaller bit diameters. For example, this is why the cones on rolling cutter bits are aligned at an angle. The result of this alignment is that the outer rows of cutting elements produce a trailing skidding action. The inner rows are in approximately a true roll, and the intermediate rows are a major wear area. These variations in cutting action are a concession to whole size limitations.